Parents furious over school board member tweeting about her sexual peak, calling for teenager parents in Chula Vista, California are demanding answers from Kate Bishop, a member of the school board whose years-old vile messages on Twitter recently went viral after a concerned father shared them on social media. The interim superintendent distanced the school district from Bishop's tweets and Bishop herself acknowledged the tweets as past mistakes and said they were meant to be funny. I'm pretty sure I hit my sexual peak today. Somebody bring me an 18-year-old boy, stat. Bishop tweeted in 2012, with the hashtag, hormones. Parents criticized a second tweet sent in 2011, which read, off to the park to see what hot three-year-old girls my kid can hit on with the hashtag, hashtag Valentine's Day. Davidson Brock did not demand that Bishop resign, but she did demand answers. I get that most of this stuff is just bad jokes but I would still like to hear or the district address it," the mother said, Kimberly Dixon and Matt Dixon, parents of two, called on Bishop to resign, describing her jaw-dropping tweets and raising concerns about the school district turning a blind eye to such behavior. Joe Thomas, a father in the school district, shared these two old tweets, along with a number of others, from Bishop on Facebook last week. Her comments are appalling, disturbing, and unprofessional for any educator in the public school system he wrote in a Facebook post. Thomas said he reached out to the superintendent's office on Thursday and on Friday, Bishop made her Twitter account private. Thomas also posted a picture of the school district's response to him, suggesting that no action had been taken. Ms. Bishop received the Let's Talk dialogue on Friday. I am not aware if there was any further action taken regarding this dialogue," Nancy Tian, assistant to the superintendent and school board, wrote, according to the posted screenshot. Facebook Screenshot She is the perfect example of who not to put in charge of decisions that affect our children Thomas concluded. Jonathan Zacherson, founder of Reopen California Schools and a father of three, highlighted two tweets. Those tweets, I feel, are disqualifying for anybody involved in K-12 education," he argued. I'm pretty sure I hit my sexual peak today. Somebody bring me an 18-year-old boy, stat. Bishop tweeted in 2012, with the hashtag, hormones. Twitter screenshot the 18-year-old boy one is definitely disturbing because 18-year-olds can still be enrolled in school Davidson Brock said. I have a 17-year-old boy. The thought of a school board member writing that is really disturbing to me. Matt Dixon called the tweet very frightening. To choose an 18-year-old boy as opposed to somebody her own age, it appears to have a predatory context he said, noting that Bishop seemed to be looking for somebody young and vulnerable. Having somebody who looks at young people in that manner is very scary. If she's a leader with this kind of, in my opinion, predatory thought process, is this going through the rest of the board and of the school district? Is there an acceptance of this kind of behavior? Dixon asked. Doc the concerned parents also pointed out a tweet from 2011, in which Bishop said she was off to the park to see what hot three-year-old girls my kid can hit on with the hashtag hashtag Valentine's Day. Twitter screenshot Davidson Brock said Bishop ran on a platform of being a parent advocate but she argued that Bishop doesn't represent Chilla Vista. This isn't how the people I know talk. The concerned mother also noted that there were comments that just don't have any place being written by someone who serves on a school board. In a 2012 message, Bishop wrote, I wanna hate heck Paul Ryan, while he is g-ged with my absentee ballot on which I voted for Obama. In 2013, she wrote about having a do purchase on her credit card statement. On Election Day 2016, she wrote of Donald Trump, Dear Rust Belt, he lied. Your manufacturing jobs are never coming back. You f at us. No lud, Kate. Twitter screenshot. Davidson Brock also noted another 2016 tweet in which Bishop Mock quoted Trump. It's terrible all the cholera these Mexicans are bringing across the border. Still, nobody loves like I do. 
Believe me, she tweeted with the hashtag, hashtag Trumpbook reports. Not everybody gets that, Davidson Brock explained. A lot of people think she's talking about Mexicans. They don't realize that this is a poke at Trump. I understand she may have been joking, Davidson Brock admitted. Even so, she insisted that someone with that type of character shouldn't be making decisions for our children. The social media posts occurred years before Kate Bishop's election to the Board of Education. Her personal tweets do not represent the opinions or beliefs of the Chula Vista Elementary School District, Esquivel wrote. Kimberly Dixon insisted that the age of the tweets is irrelevant. The content of the tweets puts her character into question, whether they were made last week, last year, or 10 years ago, she said. Is the fox watching the hen house? I own my past mistakes, and I have been more mindful of things that I post publicly online since then Bishop concluded. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.